Hi guys, Alex here. Welcome back to In Alex's Shook Reaction. And I am super excited because for today's video, we're going to go ahead and take a look at a brand new video from ALR now. This one is actually called My Hair is Falling Out. Oh my goodness. I was on H3's podcast. Is that really a podcast you want to be on these days? just saying, and eating at the best Mexican restaurant vlog. I feel like that last part of the title is a little bit of a troll. She knows that that is not the content that people want to see from her eating at a restaurant, but that is classic ALR. What's going on with her hair? Because I know what you guys are thinking. Chantal, she lost hair. Does this have to do with Amber's weight? You really never know. In this video, you guys will see that her priorities are completely out of whack. And Amber continues to live in delusion. So let's just get right into it. I mean, shall we? I literally almost clicked on Bottle's video to react to. <laughs> so we're off to a great start. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Sorry. Hey, girl. How's it hanging? Just straighten my hair a little bit. So I've come to terms that I have yeah, like girl. fried my hair. That's exactly what you should be doing if your hair is falling out and it's fried. Let's just keep straightening it, right? Completely. And that sucks. I think for the longest time, like... Makes sense. That's that Amberlynn logic there. I was just counting on my hair staying healthy because I was young. My hair was thick and pretty. But as you age and right. the more you use heat on it without you're not going to be able to keep those good looks forever girl better hang on to it protectant it's not good it's not cute so i had you guys recommend me some frizzy shampoo and conditioner so thank you for that now i need recommended a really good heat protectant because i'm not going to stop using heat on my hair because i like my hair either curly or straight and i ain't got neither my hair is just a mess and it's like i never expected that to happen to me but you got to take care of it i mean this was a big topic of discussion in the previous video Look at her hair in this shot particularly. Is this what kind of got her to see that something was certainly wrong? It looks like it's a bob cut and then there's cheap extensions. You know what I mean? I can't get over that shot. Girl, let's just keep straightening. So I actually just got done getting ready. I'm actually going to go out. Might do a little shopping. Might get something to eat. I'm it kind of reminds me of her when she talks about weight loss while shoving it in, how she used to. I'm starting my new weight loss journey. Munch, 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 crunch, crunch, crunch. I'm not sure what I'm going to vlog, but I'm going to try my hardest to vlog for you guys. Stop one is Torrid. Gotta hit up the Torrid. Okay, are we going to get one of those fly on the wall moments? Let's see. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So this would be like... I mean, you could see her from behind and be like, that's Amberlynn Reed. Oh my gosh, Amberlynn! <laughs> would you be fake? Or would you just not talk to her? <laughs> Amber would come up to me for a picture. <laughs> LOL. No, she replaced me with your mama. That's over. It's over party. What is she doing behind the scenes, girl? Now we're about to eat at this Mexican restaurant. It's actually super freaking fancy, not gonna lie. That looks pretty cute, but it's not like the old times. There was that Mexican restaurant in Kentucky, like the only one in town her and Beck would go to all the time. What is it like? Because it's too Well, that's heavy. Oh, wow. Okay. That reminds me of a Mexican restaurant near me. It's like bougie Mexican. I can't even see you. Love, love, love that restaurant. It's literally the same. But girl, let's talk about the diet journey because this is not giving diet journey. I've been to a lot of Mexican restaurants in my day and those calories can be a little frightening. I mean, it's good. It's good. Enjoy. Is she going to get the pollo fondito fried? It's good. It's good. Got to start off with the chips. Where's Mama Lynn? Look at her like laughing because she knows it's a troll. Hold on, mom. I have to troll. Hold that thought. I have to troll. 
Is that the conversation? I did. Down it? Yeah, it looks so good. Okay, so we're in dollar. Down it. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so, we're in dollar. Aren't they from California? She was so above Kentucky when you remember her birthday party. It was cigarette moms galore. Down it. General, and I'm getting a little candy. I'm getting chocolate covered caramel. We're Acting like she was from LA or something. Girl, probably some small ass town. So, yeah. California is a big state. Off to bingo. Is this just her life these days? She's basically living the life of a retiree. <laughs> and now that she doesn't even do YouTube anymore, but once a week. I guess if you were a retiree, you wouldn't have much content for YouTube. But there's so much that she could do, like she used to do. Cook a soup. Um, cook a soup. I mean, I'd watch it. I watched her taco soup recipe. She did the mermaid makeup. Now, if she did the mermaid makeup now, I probably wouldn't react to it. Unless it was so ridiculous, which it was back then. And 34. She got fever. I'm 28. I'm 16. Did she win? Hey guys. I don't understand these different day title cards. What day? Was that, that was Tuesday, now it's Wednesday? So it is the next day. I'm actually waiting for my mom to come pick me up because we're going to go visit my grandma. My grandma actually just had lung surgery. So if you guys pray or want to send oh, out positive sad. vibes, definitely do that. There was no complications. Thank God. We were all very worried. But we want to go. Okay. So she's recovering. That's nice. Visit her make sure she's okay and make her feel loved. And yeah, I just want to check in on her. So this is one of my grandma's cats. Actually, so cute. my favorite cat that she has. I'm obsessed with her. I need her and I want her. This is the female version of Grumpy Cat. I think the green nails need to be replaced. <laughs> Put a one in the chat if you think the green nails should be replaced. This is not a live stream. Okay, you guys. So I'm on a hair journey. Um, I know in the beginning of this vlog, I said, help me with some heat protectant. And now I'm just saying, no, don't do that. I'm done adding heat to my hair. What has happened has literally traumatized me. Oh my goodness. She's basically like Chantal saying one thing and then completely switching it up just a couple days later girl at least it's just hair at least she's making the right decision <laughs> i mean if your hair is falling out you should probably lay off on the heat maybe not forever but for now beyond words you guys will not notice and i barely even noticed until i went back and watched like a vlog from like november or december my hair is fried um i'm losing a lot of hair from down here Girl, we can't even really see it. Um, my hair is thin. My hair is falling out. It doesn't feel the same. It doesn't look the same. And it's because, as you guys know, I used to wear my hair in a bun constant. I mean, for years and years. Is that what we're going to blame it on? That is what I did with the occasional, let's wear my hair down. But Does this have to do with her diet in any way? I don't know. I just can't help but think of Chantal when I think of hair loss. Imagine if we get an Amberlynn shaving her head live stream. A girl can dream. <laughs> Ever since, I don't know, I would say the last like six months, I have straightened my hair or curled my hair in some sort of fashion multiple, multiple times a week. My hair is not used to that, but that's the style I wanted. I wanted my hair to be super straight. This is where we're at. I feel like her priorities. Remember that famous clip where she was talking about Beck, one thing that she would change, her priorities. You would think that Amberlynn's focus right now would be on diet and exercise, would be on losing weight because it's so detrimental and she has to take care of herself now. But instead, her focus, her sole focus is her hair. This is where we're at, folks. The delusion of it all. I'm not saying she can't do both, but I guess we'll see. Or I wanted to have waves in it. And I have never been like a curly hair girly pop. My hair would never hold a curl. Like I literally got my hair done <laughs> years ago. I vlogged it. I did like an ombre thing. And while I was there when she was done, she was like, 
like the um hair salon person she was like i want to curl your hair and i was like my hair will the hair salon person a hairstylist a hairdresser one or the other girl come on give it the program i'll curl for you and she was like just watch she tried she couldn't curl it like my hair was just like pin straight but then i started realizing recently like why is my hair keeping a curl it's like wavy it's now change texture so much amber's one of those like friends you're sitting next to at a coffee shop and they're just going on and on and on and you're just kind of like sitting there and everything's going in one ear and out the other like you're not even retaining the information because it just sounds like nothing so then like now that I can have like a little wave, I was like, oh my God, I never want to stop. Like, cause it's something I've wanted my whole life. So now that I could finally do it, I couldn't get enough. So by doing that and by adding heat to my hair so often after I haven't really been doing that, my hair- Well, if she already has a natural wave. It's not happy with me. So I am not gonna be- My hair is not happy with me. For a hot minute, I'm gonna be changing my shampoo and conditioner, which I've actually already done that. Like I used to use Tresemme and you guys were like, don't do that. Like supposedly Tresemme has been like sued like multiple times. Really? I cried about it actually, I'm not gonna lie to you. I mean, you really have to wonder what kind of things do they put in these shampoos? You know what I'm saying? I think I watched a couple of videos about that. And people, there are some people that swear by using no shampoo ever, which I don't know how I feel about that. But I also understand being weary of certain chemicals they put in these, especially like the ones that you just buy at the drugstore a la Tresemme. Like I cried about it to my mom because my hair has always been like, you know, my favorite thing about myself. And now I'm slowly losing it actually it's happened quite fast i'm not gonna lie to you because like just in december my hair looked completely different like maybe she should go to a doctor and see because there are a lot of medical issues that can cause hair loss so maybe she should go in that direction going back and looking like in 2018 like how thick my hair was i just i don't know it's kind of getting to me and a lot of people won't like understand that but I need to take care of my hair now. I'm like literally rambling about this. I'm going to shut I need to take care of my hair now. Imagine if she felt the same way about her weight. Like, you have got to be kidding me. Oh my goodness, the Delulu girl. She should take care of her hair. I'm not saying that she shouldn't. I mean, it is good to catch it early before the problem gets worse and unfixable. She's still young. She still has a full head of hair. I can't really tell that it's fried through the screen, but if she's using a lot of heat with no protectant, yeah, it probably is fried. I've been there using the straightening iron. But imagine if she had the same drive when it comes to her weight loss. I'll just say it, her attempts, her little piddly attempts since the beginning of the year have been absolutely pathetic. I mean, it doesn't even seem like she's trying. It doesn't even seem like she cares anymore. No. Another different day. Which one is it? Nobody knows. You guys, I'm like super behind on each three videos. But you guys know me, I watch every single one of their podcasts. I'm obsessed with them. Probably their biggest fan. But um, someone messaged me. This is going to go south quick. On Instagram. <laughs> this was a minute ago. Like, I'd say like two weeks ago. And then Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. Like, oh my god, you were on the H3 podcast. Had to well, say long story short, um, I'm going to show the clip here. Okay. Yeah. okay. Oh, okay. Was she posted up on the H3 podcast? No. Nah. Yeah, you is to lose you. Sometimes you just need to disconnect and enjoy your own company. Damn. Yeah. Nah, -uh, a watch next. She's going through something. Yeah. something Did they happened. watch it? Yeah. I don't Did think they that click means on that it? she's necessarily. No. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Does that mean like Ethan watches Amberlynn and she's in his algorithm? But that's hilarious. She was like the watch next video in the H3 podcast. I think that might expose Ethan. I think he's an Amberlynn Reed viewer because otherwise, why would they recommend that? Hmm? And on TikTok, I mean, come on. Those TikToks lately have been super cringe. And while I was watching the actual um, podcast while that happened, people in the comments were like, oh my God, Amberlynn, I love you. And like all this stuff. And I was just like, I can't even begin to imagine like, does H3 know me? If you do, hello, hello. Like I'm just obsessed with the H3 podcast, you guys. Girl, he definitely does. All these bigger YouTubers do. Shane, new Amber. So when I saw like my TikTok like pop up right there, like I was shook to say the least. 
I think Shane was like 350, 400 pounds at one point, maybe around high school. Now that I think about it, I think the top two weirdest situations that have happened was Little Nas X posting a picture of me on his Instagram. It was like a meme. Or Howard Stern using like audio from one of my mukbangs. She was featured on Howard Stern. He used an audio from a mukbang. Oh, I was hoping he like reacted to her. He would probably rip her to shreds. But let's see if she brings up her most infamous clip, which was since when did I become such a blackie when she was with Rafe shopping that was used by Bob the drag queen. And she was clowned all over Twitter for that clip. It was effing hilarious, but I bet you she won't bring that one up. And one of his like podcasts or whatever. I don't watch Howard Stern. I never really have, but like, obviously I know his name. But this was years ago, and people sent me the clip. Years and I was like, ago. That was like the weirdest thing ever. Okay, guys, we're about to do a taste test of something that I told myself that I would never in a million years try. So I love pickled things. I oh, is she going to do the chamoy pickle kit? I want to try that. It's like a pickle in Kool-Aid and all this candy. You could probably just buy it all yourself instead of going for the kit. Like pickled cucumbers, which are pickles. Pickled onion, pickled carrots, pickled asparagus, pickled okra. The list can go on. Y'all remember my pickled pickle taste test? Baby corn era, don't you? Also, have I can't help but say this is where we're at. Loving <laughs> a boiled egg. Put two and two together. We have pickled eggs, and I'm gonna try one for you guys. I said, you know what? Mm -mm -mm. Do it for the plot. Do it for the vlog. So What's that? Do it for the plot. Is that one of her new girls' sayings? Amber is like a sponge. They say that a child is like a sponge. They soak up all these social interactions and mimic what people say, what people do. But Amber still has that childlike feature. She mimics anything that other people say. And I know that that goes for like a lot of friend groups, honestly. When it comes to Amber, it's so obvious and cringe. Let's do it. Old South pickled eggs. Oh boy. So I did have it in the freezer. No, I didn't. I had it in the fridge. That proves Valentine's girly is actually a real person. <laughs> Flimsy. Oh, <gasps> this smells identical to a salt and vinegar potato chip. That's She's weird. Trolling. That does make sense because it's vinegar and salt. I'm assuming. I love Eggs, a good water, troll vinegar, moment. Salt, natural flavors and polysorbate 80. I don't even want to touch it. Let me get a fork. I am genuinely so nervous. I don't even want to touch it, but I'm going to eat it. She's so nervous. Girl, it's not chicken. Why are you nervous? It's not me. Oh, do it for the plot. Do it for the plot. Okay. Yeah, what is Ready? that? Who says that? Which YouTuber says that? Or is that Valentine's Day, girly? All right. Maybe I'm just not caught up on the Gen Z slang. There's something new every week. And then I learn I'm like two years late <laughs> a lot's happening oh that's vinegary i don't have a conclusion vinegary. so we're going in for another bite this is what it looks like on the inside all right in for the kill girl <laughs> oof you guys i'm having like a a moment i'm a pretty picky eater if you know me in real life you know that i was expecting the trolling in this video is a little over the top. I hate these. You can love two things separately. It doesn't mean you gotta love them together. And I'm not gonna lie to you. This is good. It doesn't taste like anything pickled I've ever had before. It literally tastes like that flavor that a salt and vinegar potato chip has. Surprise, surprise. Amberlynn likes a food. But I love salt and vinegar chips. So maybe I'll try them. So weird. And the texture is splendid. It's like a little bit like more firm and hard compared to like just a normal hard boiled egg. I don't know. Okay, girl. Yeah. Give us that review. I mean, that's way more than Chantal has given. Remember when she tried to kind of position herself foodie beauty as a food reviewer as like some sort of foodie, you know, her name is foodie, but she's anything but a foodie. She only says like, Oh, that's good. That's delicious. Mm -mm. She never really gives that texture that mouth feel it's a vinegar but the texture is great so for one of these is only 50 calories i could definitely only eat one at a time there you go girl eat the whole jar no because it is super vinegary 
but it's good. I feel like this would be really good in a salad. Color me surprised. So yeah, I just got a package salad. from Amazon. I got these face diamonds. So it comes with these diamonds, like a silvery diamond and like the tools. What are you going to a concert, girl? Blue. What is this for? So I think like a diamond. Is this for her new uh, mermaid makeup troll? Number two would be so cute near my like eyeliner or something. I have so, so many troll video ideas. I'm definitely going to be using the smaller ones like these down here because I don't want to do anything crazy. So this is a no for me, but I'm sure it looks great on other people. So when I do try this out, I will definitely tell you guys. Oh, and it also came with some white something or other. I was going to say eyeliner, but that's definitely not white eyeliner. That's like a Amberlynn is up to date on the Gen Z trends more so than most Gen Zers. Pencil, but I'm not sure why. Well, that's because she's chronically online. She's probably on TikTok like two or three hours a day, maybe more. Okay, very interesting. So I wanted to actually end this vlog here. I know it's a short one, so my videos are pretty short. I'm sorry. I wanted to end it with a Wednesday weigh-in. So I weighed in at four. Oh, no way. 99.0 it with a wednesday weigh-in so i weighed in at four ninety nine point zero. so i'm not even down a pound this week i've honestly been doing really good which is unfortunate i'm not perfect by no means but i've she's been doing so good yeah right definitely made a lot of progress here lately and you it did? just feels really good to be able to say that anyways i'm about to get ready for it's bed. an I'm afterthought this video and i'll see you guys in the next one bye look at miss girl thinking she can just sneak that way in in there at the end and people aren't gonna notice it they probably clicked off the video by now huh 499.0 so not even a pound. But she wants you to know that she's making so much progress, guys, behind the scenes. Right, right, right. <laughs> we saw you at the Mexican restaurant, girl. How many other restaurants did you go to this week? Let us know. I did find this one to be quite interesting. It was very Delulu and trolly. What's up with that? She's bringing back these kind of troll moments as well as her priorities just being completely out of whack. I mean, the way in the weight loss is just a footnote in the video, just like five seconds thrown in at the end of the video to appease a group of people that want to see that. But that just feels like a way in for way in sake. There's no real rhyme or reason for the way in. You're just getting on the scale just because. And all the focus is on her hair. That got me. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And I will, of course, catch you guys in the, the next one. All right. Bye, everyone.